about these offers that it's on. I expect to see that on your income tax, Morty. I can't hear you, people. The maggots sound like suburbanites. 50 bucks for a lousy coin set, you sell one at a time. Got a hundred bucks for the next sucker who makes a triple sale. A minute, 50 seconds, Bernie. You expect these leaves to grow on fucking trees? Put me over your shoulder all day, Bernie, huh? Ask for the sale four times every time. Got it? Seconds to close it, Bernie. Fifteen. We are off on your tail, Bernie. Five. Now let's listen. Four. Four. Price that would be stupid. Three. You have to be brain dead. Yeah. How many sets? Do you have? Got the shit, man. Yep. Hey, we'll give it up, bro. As ordered. Pharmaceutical cocaine. Come on, you eunuchs. Zeke's closing his sucker six, seven times, and he's got twice as many sales as the rest of you bastards. Spend your Sunday here, too, if you don't take these bills from me. saw flames shooting from the building, called the fire department. By the time the engine got here, it was too late, and there were five dead young people. Now, this is a story with lots of irony, because Mr. Samosa, the landlord, has been in deep trouble with licenses and inspections before, and as a matter of fact, was scheduled for a hearing on a previous offense this morning at 10 o'clock. And the Fernandez were coming back. How'd it go? Did you get the money? Did you? Hey. <laughs> you walk the streets like that? Hey. Huh? You're an idiot. Hey! <gasps> the 
legit. I didn't mean that. Hey, I'm still hung up, honey. Hmm. It's a very scary people. Oh, forgive me. Huh? I'll make it up to you. Hey, you can hit me anywhere. Baby, baby, let's not fight, right? This is our penthouse. This is the key to the real city. Huh? This is what you wanted. This is what we've been working for, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 700,000. This was a mistake. This is just to take care of us during my residency until the doctor bucks start rolling in, right? They're soft. I thought they'd be stiff. These, these are laundered, untraceable, perfectly safe, right? Ooh. You have to put them somewhere. Oh, no. Tomorrow, hey. Oh, come here. You are a criminal mastermind. Bobby. I want to pay off that loan shark first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll forget. Oh, 100 grand plus interest? I doubt it. Come Stop. Here. Come here. you got to give a little love nip to your punk ring. Something wrong? Mm -hmm. Fear. I'm going to take a long, hot one, and then you and I are going to celebrate. Hmm? <laughs> Worth the risk, huh? Mm hmm. What do you want to do tonight? Go to the opera? Some kind of big Broadway show? Executive dining experience? Whatever you want.
best in. How far is Chicago? Oh, 10, 12 hours. Depends on how fast you drive. What's that bar like? Thanks a lot, man. Very cool. What did Clarence make you beg? I made him beg. So why all the attitude? I guess uh, Mike didn't want his job back. I just didn't want to come back to this dead end town. That's all. So you uh, you want to talk about it or? Uh... There's nothing to talk about. I went to Buffalo. It didn't work out. I'm back. Yeah. We already know all that. I guess uh, he didn't want to talk about it. I guess not. Hi, guys. Hi, Mike. Hi, Stacy. How are you? Good, and you? Good. Hey, Stacy, how are you? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Did you grow up? Would you leave your dick in Buffalo? Chris, these women are anchors. Say what? They're planted here. You get too close to one, Beston's got you for life. Yeah, yeah. Here he goes again. Mm -hmm. Look, how many, how many guys in this bar have felt her up? <sighs> All of them. Mm -hmm. And how many have gone home with her? How many have slept with her? None, including yourself. Right. I rest my case. Don't rest it too long, because I promise you it'll fall out. How do I look? I look all right. You look man. great, man. You like this? Mike? You look great. It's no, lovely. You, you, you're not. I'm um, all right, man. Hey, Stacey. Hey, Stacey. Hey. How you doing? So, uh, tell me about the wife. What? The wife, man. Copper wedding van. Was it kind of a spur of the moment decision or what? Can't kick this off. Use a little octane, man. Take care of it. Just never took you as the impulsive type. Neither did I. Did you divorce her? You get around to it. Eh? I cannot spend the rest of my life here. I, I know what's going to happen each and every day. Yeah. So when do you leave? How long does it take to grow a new set of balls? Give me Manhattan. I said, hey, pal, this ain't no drive through. You believe some people? Hey. Hey. I know you hear me, pal. Anybody need anything down here? Right. Everybody good? Good? Yeah, you good? Jesus Christ. Who's a girl got a suck around here to get a drink? <laughs> City trash, man. You don't think that? What do you see in that? It's maybe a new set of balls. Give me a Manhattan. Ray? Uh, a Manhattan for the lady, please. Sure, Mike. Well, if that's the game, I gotta say please. Uh, yes, it, it helps. Uh, you're not from around here. Fuck off. Uh, Two dollars, please. I, I got it, right. Mike. 
I, uh, I took care of that for you. Thank you can also be very effective. <sighs> Could you leave? Please. Well, I haven't finished charming you yet. You haven't started. Give me a chance. Go find yourself a nice little cowgirl, make nice little cow babies, and leave me alone. I'm, uh, I'm hung like a horse. Think about it. Let's see. Excuse me? Mr. Ed, let's see. Look, I tried to be nice. I can see that's something you're no, not... I'm trying. I can be very nice when I try. Sit down. Right. Maybe we just got off to a bad start. I know Lane's put plenty of people in a... What are you, what are you doing? I believe what we're looking for is a certain horse-like quality. Yeah. Never buy anything sight unseen. Uh huh. That's a good, good policy. How many lovers? What do I get? Extra credit points for experience? How many lovers? Uh, 13, tw 12, 12. Any prostitutes? No. Any men? No. No men. Am I approved? Medically. You have your own place? Yes. Is it a sty? No, it's clean. Do you have indoor plumbing? Yes, I have indoor plumbing, I have electricity, and I have a name. No names. Meet me outside. It's a local call. It's personal. Bridget! Always a pleasure. You still a lawyer, Frank? Yeah. Still a self-serving bitch. Friend needs advice. I'll set it up for you. Husband and wife do a one-time drug deal. The goal's a wholesome one. College fund for the kids. <laughs> no. The wife wants new digs. Comes off without a hitch. Only the wife decides that the new house would be happier without the husband. Sharing was never her specialty. She's anxious to start spending. Well, uh, it's just an opinion since you're not paying for it. But the husband is entitled to half of whatever you buy with that cash. In fact, as soon as you turn it into a legal asset, like a condo or a house or a bank account, he can make a claim on it. What are you saying? My lips moving too fast for you? Not fast enough, as I recall. <laughs> no, no. Keep it in cash. He's not going to ask a judge for half of that unless he wants to spend 20 years in Attica with somebody's dick up his ass. <laughs> so what? Hold on to it for how long? <sighs> well, as long as it takes to uh, finalize the divorce. How long does that take? Uh, he'll fight it, maybe two years, less if you're lucky. Oh, Jesus, Frank. Well, I'm sorry the law doesn't make it more convenient for you to steal and deal drugs, Bridget. <clears throat> OK, start the divorce. Well, that's going to cost you a lot of paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill in the blanks for me. I'm out of town. Where are you? Maybury. I'm going to Chicago to see an old friend. Oh, that is the first place Clay would expect you to go. Stay put. <laughs> you can't be serious. Look, Maybe he won't stall. Can he afford a good lawyer? Mm, not anymore. <laughs> How silly of me to ask. Bye. Hey, 
I can't believe our good fortune, the fellow we were about to go with, wasn't half as qualified. Oh, you also have to sign you. Nice trick. I, um, I still have one concern. I'll handle your records personally. No one else in the company will know you as Bridget Gregory, so there's no way your husband can find you. I appreciate it, Bob. He actually beat you. Savagely. That's horrible. Well, have you decided what we'll be calling you? Um... Croy. Wendy. Wendy Croy. Good. With a K. Hey, 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 what are you, what are you doing what here? What are you doing here? I work here. What are you doing here? You don't know me. I've been thinking about you all day. I can't believe you're here. What, what, are, what are you doing? What, what are you doing here? Whew. Look, if I knew I was going to be staying in this town, I would have had nothing to do with it. Well, I, I'm very flattered. Thank you. As far as you. I'm concerned, any sex we had was just a product of your imagination. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I happen to have evidence to the contrary. What kind of evidence? The unrolled latex kind of evidence. It's disgusting. I work here now. Don't fuck with my image. I took your advice. What advice? I live here. <laughs> I work here. I signed a six-month contract. You're going to be there longer than that. Yeah, I'm an optimist. Let me give you the address. No, I don't want to know where you are. I'll tell you who does, though. He's called three times since he got the paperwork, something about a loan shark in his thumb. Anybody checked you for a heartbeat lately? So what am I supposed to do? Send him some cash. Failing that? Call him. <laughs> Be 
careful. He might trace it. He's not that clever. <laughs> Whatever you say. Bye. Bridget in Chicago or Bridget in Dallas? Operator, disconnect this call. to see you, too. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, good. It's strange, though. None of the other secretaries seem to know who you are. I'm not a secretary, you rural Neanderthal. I'm the director. director of lead generation. I'm just trying to get your attention. That's good. in here now or what? Huh? For the time being. Yeah? Where do I fit in? Uh, you're my designated fuck. Designated fuck? Do they make cards for that? What if I want to be more than your designated fuck? I'll designate someone else. Uh, going out on an actual date sometime, you know? Why? Oh, where are you from? <sighs> A galaxy far, far away. Just uh, trying to de decide whether you're a total bitch or not. I'm a total fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having more and more trouble with this, Wendy. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I mean, you're keeping me at arm's length all the time. I'm starting to feel like some kind of a... Sex object. Yes, exactly, a sex object. Live it up. Why don't you just stay over? I gotta get back. Well, then I can come over. That's mm. fine. My place, my space, Mike. Don't get sticky. What are you so scared of, huh? What are you so scared of? I don't know. I guess it's because I've been hurt before. I just, I don't want to get close to anyone right now. You're different than the others, Mike. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I could love you. Just, I don't want that to happen, really. Will that do? <sighs> fucking doesn't have to be anything more than fucking. 
I am, I am not asking for love, all right? Wise man. We could talk, you could talk to me. I'd like to talk. So talk. Who's listening? There are things I'd like to know about you, Wendy. I like you. I would like to know things about you. All right, look, you know my name? Yes. I come from... New York City. How do you know that? My phone bill. Look, I like my privacy, okay? Let me in. No, please. No! And screw you. Right. Tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Bridget, so glad you called. You know the phone booth down the block? Uh, oh, yeah, the, um, yeah. Get the number, I'll call you back. But before you do that, I think... I won't let you trace this, Clay. Run. Ah. <laughs> lay it on me, lay it on me. Come on. Let it ring. Okay, here we go. What's the number? Five 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 one six three. Call you right back. It'll be ringing. You're on, Doc. Where are you? I need to get back to New York. Sounds quiet. Yes, uh... Well, why don't you come back? All is forgiven, Clay. And I'll buy it. Give me the money back. It's mine, you hit me. I slapped you. It's mine. Listen, forget about this possession. is 90% of the law crap. The hundred grand that we borrowed is 150 now in a private detective from upstairs. There's a 50% contingency on the rest. And he wants it very, very bad. All right, look. I'll pay off the shark, throw 10 more to your private detective. Give me a divorce, we'll be even. You qualify. You're a bitch. She's in cow country. <laughs> Frank Griffith's office. Is 
See there? Bridget. I don't care if he's on the other line. This is urgent. I have other clients, Bridget. I think he traced my call. I'm out of here. Oh, just relax. How long were you on the phone? 45 seconds, maybe less. Yeah, well, that's not enough time. It's enough time to pinpoint the region area code, maybe. Yeah, well, time for a new area code. Yeah, well, most fugitives are caught on the run, Bridge. <sighs> Frank, don't do this to me. There are 10 million phone numbers per area code. You got an alias? Yes. Well, then, just relax. Take it easy. <sighs> are you sure? Yeah, and look, if you're nervous about staying alone... Don't. I hope you're right. Bye. Wendy, I'm sorry I walked in on you in the bathroom. I really am. Well, why are you walking so fast? A woman loses 50% of her authority when people find out who she's sleeping with. It's a crime. It's a university study. Frank, listen, this place is not like that, okay? Around here, we're not like that. Tell you to shut up. Just Put your hands off me! Uh, what's your problem, mister? What is this, corporate dark ages? Did you see? What are you saying? I'm saying I don't have anything more to go on. Damn. Hey, it's my retail business. Like I got a choice. I don't like being around this. Who is it? You can see the doctor. Come on in. Hmm. Nice place. What can I do for you? I need to lose some weight. I mean, got to go on a diet. Hmm. Well, thin fast. Huh? Thin fast. What about it? You tried it, you asshole. Uh, right. D didn't work. Okay, okay. Would you like this? Charming business. Hey, I'm trying to keep up with the interest. You. Know, for you uh... You were saying, I got no more to go on. Well, you aren't quitting. I mean, I am. Well, you're not paying my expenses. I can't afford to go around half the state carrying her picture, man. The name Bridget Gregory is ringing no bells up there. Maybe she changed her name. Maybe, definitely. And unless you figure out what she changed it to, we got nothing. She, she wants back here. She wants a bad. She probably is back here. Now, why don't you tell your friends to watch out for her? If you find her, I'd be glad to separate her from the cat. You've been big. Hey, hey, hey. You really want to stop it with that. <sighs> hey. It's her name. It's the one she's using now. You're flailing, man. No, no, no. I know her. She's got this crazy town where she can write backwards. New York. Backwards. 
Athens, the city. That's all she's thinking about. Wendy Croy. Wendy Croy. Wendy Croy. Wendy Croy. Wendy. Oh. You are beautiful. Hey. Apology appreciated. Apology expired. Like, a woman has to protect her standing at the office, you know that. Look, I was wrong to touch you, but you were wrong to send me to the gas chamber. So maybe I overreacted a little bit. You want to see my new place? Hmm? On your bed. Thought we were going to be more than sex partners. I thought we were going to be friends. And this entails? Talking, sharing, cluing me into whatever it is that makes you run so hot and cold. Can I trust you? You know you can trust me. Someone steals a million bucks, but there's a dilemma. She spends it. Oh, you see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You're scared to talk about real things. You're scared to reveal yourself. Tell me something I want to know. Tell me what brought you to Beston. I don't know, Mike. What brought me to Beston? You're so goddamn intuitive. You tell me. I tell you what, Wendy. Why don't we talk about me, huh? Good. I'm a, I'm a claims adjuster. I talk to all different types of people in my job. Some are happy to be hearing from me. Some are scared to death. Wow. Car has been stolen. A child's operation's been botched. They tell me things that they don't tell anyone else. It's very intimate. It's boring. No, Wendy, it's intimate. I talked to a woman the other day whose husband just died in a car accident. It was just a 50 grand payout. But she said if she knew it was that much, she'd have killed the guy herself years ago. Said it was the best thing that ever happened to her. You see what I'm saying? I talked to this lady for 20 minutes, and I know more about her than I know about you. Her husband sounds like a real gem. Actually, he was a son of a bitch. I could tell from his credit report. Can't tell that from a credit report. Sure you can. You can tell lots of things from credit reports. Yeah, like what? He had three credit cards authorized to three different women, none of which were his wife. What else? They lived in the suburbs, but there was an apartment in his name only in the city. Hmm. She wanted him dead. She was happy when he ended up that way. Uh-huh. He was cheating on her, and you could tell from the credit report. Pretty much so. We can make a list. A list. It's like when I got here, they were going to use the phone book to prospect some customers. It's a total waste of time. What's that? The phone book's random. You gotta make a list tailored to the people who are more likely to buy your product. Mm -hmm. And what type of list are we trying to make? Cheating husband list. <laughs> what do you want to pitch to cheating husbands? Nothing. I want to pitch to their wives. What? <sighs> Murder. Murder? Oh, that's, that's very nice. Sure. Your customer said she wanted her husband dead, right? Mm hmm So there must be others. And you're just gonna sell it to him? I'm gonna try. There. Men carrying credit unavailable to their spouses, but available to women other than their daughters. Owning a home and renting an apartment in the same metropolitan area. It's a big list. Sure is. Cross-reference it with interstate policy owners of a quarter of a million or more. Why? Profit incentive. 
How much? Quarter of a million? Mm-hmm. Done. 244 names. Dial the first one. Excuse me? Dial it. I just want to see if I can do it. <laughs> He's home. Next. Hello, may I speak to a Mr. Vincent? Shit. I think I woke her up. Oh, it's late. Cross me for Pacific time. I'll do it. Hello? Yes, may I speak to a Mr. Samuel Renford, please? Oh, he's not. Oh. I assume I'm speaking with Miss Sally Lindo, authorized user of his first bank credit card. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Renford. Uh, please stop crying, ma'am. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Oh, I see he's done it before. Well, you know, you shouldn't let him get away with this. No. Well, I know what a friend of mine did. Yeah, she had her husband killed. So of God. Yes, there are people who actually specialize in such cases. Of course, there are risks involved, but there are benefits. Well, does he carry life insurance? Yes, I could put you in touch with the right people, but I would have to know you were serious about this. A definite commitment. <laughs> Mrs. Renford, you do know I'm kidding, don't you? Yes. You channel that anger. Give him a nice kick in the balls when he gets home. Good night. It's doable. Your turn. No, thank you. <laughs> this is your game. Our game. You said you wanted to be more than just sex partners. I do. Commonality, Mike. We don't like to have the same kind of fun. Th this is fun? Yeah, it's bending the rules, playing with people's brains. Yeah, well, whatever, uh... We can go to my place afterwards. Your place? Yeah. I thought it was your place, your space. I have more space now. You're sick. You're really sick. About your wife. How'd you know? I didn't. <laughs> That's a good trick. <laughs> tell me. Not much to tell. It happened when I lived in Buffalo. One of those sudden horny things. You could say that. Her idea? Mm-hmm. Between fucking? 
Mm-hmm. What's her name? Trish. Trish. Short for... Whatever. Isn't she pretty? Still in love with her? No. No, no. I thought you were the one who wanted to talk. You want me to tell you about Trish? Mm-hmm. Trish was a mistake. Boy from Beston moves to Buffalo, gets lonely, meets a girl, screws up big time. Nothing to be ashamed of. Just wanted some more excitement, you know? I wanted more adventure. Until recently, all I wanted to do was get the hell out of this small town. Until recently? That's what I said. Until recently. What happened recently? What happened recently? What happened, Mike? Can I have a little privacy, please? Tell me what happened. You happened, all right? What's so special about me? You've been out there. You came here and you chose me. So? So I was right. I'm bigger than this town. So what's wrong? You can't stop reminding me that you're bigger than me. black man here to see you. What did he want? He wouldn't say. He was black, though. Did you tell her about the black man? Frank Griffith, please. No message. What do you mean you're on the run from somewhere? Did you lock the door? Yes. Go check it again. It's locked. What about the top lock? Wendy, it's all locked. Just check it, Mike. Wendy, it's all locked, OK? Locked. OK, why in, in the world would someone be after you? Do you love me, Mike? What? I made another sale today. A sale? Mm -hmm. You know, like that night we worked late in your office? <sighs> Wendy, if, if you want to sell murder to people, if that's how you have your fun, that's fine by me. It's nothing that I'm interested in. Yeah, but I can't deliver it without you. We made the sale, Mike, but we didn't deliver. Deliver the murder? I want to do it. Lance Collier. <clears throat> Financial consultant, retired, lives outside Miami. Charms young waitresses with luxury apartments and credit cards while his wife, Mary Beth, sits at home playing solitaire. He's faithful to Mary Beth in one way. She's the only woman he beats. She doesn't need the money, but she would like to see him die with a considerable amount of pain. You're crazy. I did a little uh, creative key punching and uh, cross-referenced our list parameters with policyholders at Third Mutual. You accessed another company's database. Mm -hmm. And the good news is, our victim does no business with Interstate. He has no connection to us, Mike. Wendy, you need help.
Look, I'm gonna go out for a while. You wanna spend the night here, that's fine. Talk to me. You're deranged. Mike, the guy deserves it. Think about his poor wife. Do you know why I left New York? Yep. To mess with my mind. $50,000 a year is nothing. An apartment you're not afraid to walk out of rents for half that much, and you have to read the goddamn obituaries to find it. I'm going back, but I won't live like an animal. I want you to go back with me. Oh, really, you do? And all I have to do is kill someone while you go apartment hunting? We can do it together. Wendy, maybe it's my quaint, small-town morals, but I don't do murder. Yeah, well, you would if you loved me. Get some sleep. Where are you going? Going to play hockey. I'll come with you. No. You're going to leave me here by myself? Yes. Wait up. Mike, wait. Mike. Mike. I'm scared. Let's go for a little drive. So how is Clay? Pissed. We want our money. What are you to an item? Funny woman. You want a contingency? 50% of funds recovered. So why even give Clay his half? Professionalism. Wouldn't it be more pleasant to share it with me? Lady, you had your fun. Whatever you spent, you spent. As long as it's within reason. But it's over. You'd get rough? I will if I have to. I can't get it for you tonight. Where is it? In a bank. Show me a statement. I don't have a statement. But they have this um, 800 line. You can punch in the account number, get a balance. It's a real kick. I imagine. Pull over to next phone. I assume that was to get me out of the car, hoping I'd leave these. It was. So the money's at your place? It is. How much is left? All but a couple of thou. Frugal woman. Let's go. Well, what if I hadn't saved it all? I mean, come on, you can give me a break. How much? Hundred grand. I could easily have spent that much. <laughs> How the fuck do you stay up here? I mean, these people. I go in the store this morning for cigarettes. They got ducks under the counter. What do they plant these people, or they just grow out of the ground? <laughs> and they look at me like, hell, I don't know. You know, they're not used to seeing guys like you around here, if you know what I mean. Is it true what they say? What? You know, size. Is it true what they say about white women? What's that? No ass? <laughs> oh, come on, I was wondering for real. Let me see it. Fuck you, drive. I'm sorry. About what? About your shortcoming. I'm not gonna play this game. Is that why you carry a big gun? The Freudian mind fuck isn't gonna work either. Ooh, touchy. I'm sure your woman is very understanding. Exactly how is it that we end this phase of our relationship? By you showing it to me. Come on, let me see it. I've never seen one before. I'll show you my ass. What makes you think I want to see your bony ass? Show me. Show me. 
I'm driving. You go first. No, you go first. You'll shut the fuck up if I show you? I'm sure I'll be too stunned to speak. I don't believe this. says nothing about your husband. Thank you. I really appreciate it. There's only one more question I need to ask. I don't, I don't mean to pry. Um, the man with you appeared to be not entirely in his pants at the time of impact. Can you tell me what happened just before you went off the road? Well, um, like I told you before, he tried to get me to contact my husband and I refused, of course, and, um, well, he became, you know, motherfucker this, motherfucker that. Yeah, like in the movies. Exactly. And, um, next thing I knew, I only remember bits and pieces of it, but he, uh, the gist of it was he was going to, um, impale me with his, you know, big... Oh. There's another man waiting to see you when you're through. Look, yes, sir. Um, I'm through here anyway. Thank you, ma'am. You all right? I was hockey. I'm, I'm very sorry I walked away. Wendy, you were just, you were scaring the hell out of me. I mean, the things you were saying, you, you weren't serious. What do you think? I don't understand you. Yeah, where's the effort to try? I, I'm very sorry I walked away. I have... Mike, what I suggested, I suggested for us, the only loser in the whole deal is a rich, cheating, wife-beating old bastard. You're talking about murder. Yeah, so? Oh, I'm sorry, it's one of the commandments, right? Think about what you're saying. Please. Is it the morality of murder that bothers you or the personal risk? Murder is wrong. Yeah, unless the president says to do it. Let me ask you this. If you found out Lance Collier was dead, would you spend your life bringing his killer to justice? No. No, would you go to his funeral? Probably not. Would you feel sorry for him? No, and this is not the point. I really like you, Mike, but I can't live here forever. What does that mean? The. Where are you going? Got to bring home the bacon. Well, are you, are you checked out? Did the doctors give you permission to leave? Always looking for the rules, Mike. Me to uh, come in with you? No. You sure? Wendy, you're all right? Fine. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go home. If if there's anything you need at all, you just give me a call, all right? for me. You do know that if you finger me for the deal that I'm taking you down to. I know. Look out your window. That's Harlan's replacement. Local. Name's Bert. He 
won't hurt you. I need a New Yorker for that. He's just there to make sure that I don't lose track of you again. He's very professional. Can we get past this? There is a nice, warm divorce waiting for you here. I want half the money. Not a chance, bitchet. Don't call me that. Oh, I'll call you whatever I want. I borrowed 100 k from the man whose first and last names end in vowels. Every week, I owe him a new $10,000 in interest. And when I come up just a little short, he's got this very fun game that he plays with thumbs. I hired a private detective for 50%. But now that I know where you are, I am perfectly willing to spend all of the money in hiring a clinical sociopath to take it from you and fuck you through the eye sockets just for fun! OK, look, I'll buy a week. Huh? I'll buy a week. I'll send you ten thousand dollars. No, make it fifteen, so you can get back to your life while I wrap things up here. That sounds interesting. Then I come back. I'll give you the cash. Maybe you'll be feeling a little more generous then. I keep Bert on your ass. Of course you do. I've given you no reason to trust me. Only a week. And I'm still interviewing sociopaths. Oh, Clay. Oh, Rich. What made you do this? I don't know. You slapped me. That's just an excuse. Probably right, but I get to slap you back. Hmm. Hey, it's a deal. Slap you back hard. Yes, I'm still here. You must have your name on the ticket. What do you mean my name has to be on it? I'm going to Miami for Christ's sake, not Iraq. Well, it's a regulation. Oh, yeah? Yes, ma'am. What's the pilot's name? Um, well, I can't tell you that. Oh, I see. You have to know my name, but I can't know who's driving. Well, let me ask mm -hmm. someone, may I put you on hold? Yes, I'll hold. <sighs> Am I interrupting? Don't ever come in here without knocking. I'm sorry, that I, you know, I knew you were on the phone. I just didn't want to, I, I didn't How want to How long have you been standing there? Just got here. Uh, you going away? Yes. <clears throat> New York? Yes. For good? No. Just for the weekend. With everything that's happened, I... I just need to get away for a little bit. sitting out here all day, so I baked you some cookies. Oops! I'll leave this one to your discretion.
husband's name is Mike Swale. I believe they were married about six months ago. I appreciate this. Hope that does it. Hey, Ray. Hey, Michael. What you doing, man? Good. You got yeah, that'd be great, please. Okay. How's things? Life is good. You go up to him and tell him what's up. got to tell him. Yeah? Yeah. I'm serious. Go yeah. tell him. Do it. All right, man. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hey, man? Chris, all right, man, how you? Good, hang Wait, let me, let me get him a drink, whatever he wants. Yeah, can I get a shot, man? You bet, Chris. So you still seeing that lady? Yep. Did I ever tell you once I met her outside of here last week? She said she wanted to ask me something. The point? She said she wanted to know your secret. What's the last thing Mike would want me to know? What'd you tell her? I didn't tell her anything, man. I mean, you're my friend. I mean, besides, what do I know about Buffalo? I mean, you only told Chef about the wife and everything. Is that it? <sighs> she went for my fly, and she said she wanted to suck it out of me. Came on to her and she shot me down. Get off it, Mike! Mike! Get yeah. off! Clean your face.
means you couldn't stay here. Well, I just, uh, I just didn't trust myself after what happened in Buffalo. See, I just didn't trust myself to be out on my own, you know, and I seemed to lose my judgment outside of Beston. Apparently so. Well, now it seems to be leaving me here. You know, I try, I really try to believe that you love me, but you keep treating me like some kind of 4-H experiment. Talk about us living in New York. I mean, really, come on, how long until... Where'd she go? <laughs> Where'd she go? If I only knew you loved me, Wendy. What is this? Wendy, you didn't go to New York. What? Why'd you go to Miami? Huh? Why? Did you find this, uh, did you find this Lance Collier? Wendy, did you, did you murder Lance Collier? Tell me I'm wrong, did you? Well, if I don't, it makes me an accomplice. Nice, you are good at rules. Wendy, you don't even seem bothered by what you've done. I did it for us, Mike. What bothers me is your attitude. My attitude? Yes. I expect unconditional support from a lover, for better or worse. Jesus. I killed the bastard. I wouldn't take it back if I could. <laughs> you can't. He deserved it. Wendy, nobody deserves to... Please, spare me your brainless, countrified morality. The world's better off without Lance Collier. In the ten minutes I knew him, he proved it to me 20 times. Mrs. Collier thought so, too. Jesus Christ. There's your fucking evidence. 
and there are my fucking fingerprints. Hey, maybe you'll get a reward and you can open up a fucking feed store. Get the fuck out of here. You know, Wendy, I, uh, I really thought you loved me. I never said that. Too, Mike? You think you know everything now, don't you? Well, you don't. We all have our Buffalo Girls, Mike. You murdered. You want to live bigger, but there's nothing you'd kill for. There's a place for people like that. It's called Beston. Get out. Get out! Yes. A couple of questions. Uh, okay, this uh, this guy in Florida, he really beat his wife. Like a punching bag, country boy. Wendy, I'm trying to accept this. Okay, I really want to be able to take you back. I'm out of here, Mike. I won the lottery, going to New York. Well, I could come with you. No. You have a way of making a woman feel like a one-way train ticket. It's not like that. Get out on your own, Mike. What do you want? Nothing you're offering. Try me. A relationship of equals. Okay. That means commitment. I've done something committed, you haven't. Oh, come on, murder! Murder is commitment? Yeah, when I've done it and you haven't, it is. Right. Fine. Okay, who? Who do you want me to erase? Who do you want me to kill? Hmm? This Cahill guy in New York. Gets a hold of property tax rolls, finds out who's delinquent a few bucks. He pays the balance and waits. If the sucker doesn't figure out what happened, Cahill becomes owner of the property. You know what he did last week? Kicked an 84-year-old woman out on the street with her walker. That's his credit report. You're serious? Double indemnity. Ten million payoff to the widow if he dies of an unnatural death. She's willing to give us a third. You called her? Yeah. She said she's bought things over the phone before. You try to make this sound reasonable. It is reasonable. You, me, three million bucks, New York City, Mike. It's reasonable. Where does this end with you? Right then, right with Cahill, we'd be even. <sighs> Just realize that I don't want to be with you enough to be like you. Get off of me.
dear Mike, I got a job at Interstate. I'll be moving to Beston soon. Dear Mike, I got a job at Interstate and I'll be moving to Beston soon. No one has to know about our little secret. I just want to be near you. Love, Trish. I'll do it. I'll kill the bastard. There's just one thing. I am never coming back to best enough for one second. All right. We, we pull up stakes. Mm -hmm. We settle in right afterwards. We put all this behind us, all right? Mm -hmm. So what made you change your mind? Hmm? We're going to have a life together, Wendy, in New York, the two of us alone. Beston Police Department, Officer Lewis. Hi, police. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is Mrs. Neff, 313 Squire Road. Yes, ma'am. There's this uh, strange man outside my house. He tried to show his, um, his, his diddly to my four-year-old daughter. Is he still there? Yes. We'll have a squad car there in three minutes. Okay, hurry. Thank you. Yes, cheat sheet. Why? You don't want it on you. You memorized it, right? Let's hear it. <sighs> when I get to the Port Authority, I go straight outside, find a cab, don't talk to anybody. I have the cab take me to Broadway and 125th Street. I find Cahill's apartment. I wait until 11 o'clock when we're sure the girlfriend's gone. I wait until the lights go out and a half hour more to make sure he's asleep. Right. Put on the gloves. I check and make sure I've got the cuffs, four pairs. I've got the gun, the knife, the bandana, and the flashlight. Keys, too. To the apartment, to the building, and to the doorknob. I walk up the stairs, I open the apartment door, I enter, I shut the door, I lock the door. I find him. I make sure he sees the gun. I tell him not to say a word. You hit him hard if he does. I close any open curtains. I turn on the lights. I tell him I'm just there to rob the place. I uh, find a sturdy chair. I sit him in it. I toss him the cuffs. Tell him to cuff himself to the chair. Left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg. Make sure I hear the click of the cuffs. Then I uh, tell him to open up his mouth. I gag him tight. I then use the gun to knock him out with a blow to the head. And I, uh, I keep stabbing him until he's, he's dead. Keep going. I take one final look around. I turn off the lights. I unlock the door. I exit. I shut the door. I lock it. I lock it to gloves. 
Well, why do I have to turn off the lights? Pop psychology. Let yourself know you finished an unpleasant chore. The unpleasant chore. You're up for this, right? I'm here to rob the place. I thought you were the new decorator. Shut up. Just shut your mouth. Do what I tell you. Get up. Get out of bed. Come on. Get up. Sorry. I don't want to mess with your concentration. Skilled labor and all. What now? Go ahead and uh, cuff your handcuffs to your leg cuffs there. That'll be comfortable. I told you to shut up. Now what? I'm gonna gag you. How am I gonna tell you where everything is? Am I yelling? You have a gun. I'm cooperating. Forget the gag. Gag's important. Did you read a book on this? You know, kid, you don't look like a dope head. What? I just write prescriptions, right? I got no stash. The money goes to a loan shark. I got some aspirin in the medicine cabinet, but other than that, I got nothing here you want. I'm not interested in your drugs, all right? You're just breaking in at random? Great. The guy next door is out of town for a month. I open. Open. Oh. Oh. Open! My wife has really... She's a... Wendy, I can't do it. Talk fast. She's my wife. Her name is Bridget. You know her as Wendy Croy. She stole a fortune from me after making me steal it. But she's not willing to give it up. But she can't come back to New York without settling with me first. And that's where you come in. See, she hired you. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. You're into her. Logical, I guess there aren't many women fuck like her in Cowtown. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yes, schizoid. so I talk to yourself. You really your husband? Who'd she say I was? Foreclosure lawyer. And you believe that? It says so in the mailbox. You're crazy. It does. It says Cahill on the mailbox. Find one other thing in here that. What are you talking about? You are supposed to kill Cahill. Only it's me. Then she fingers you for the murder. 
I don't think so. Oh, she wouldn't lie to you. Denial. Okay, I'm still Cahill. Did she ever happen to mention that she knows Cahill so well that he would have a picture of her in his apartment? That's a pretty major omission, isn't it? Will you shut up? Shut up and let me think. Just shut your mouth. Take your time. She probably has the cops heading here right now. No. 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 She has to know that you actually offed me first. You're signaling her. How? I'm calling her later. She's not investing, cowboy. Bridge. So you were going to have me kill your husband? I was. And then tell the police. No, I wasn't. Bullshit. She tells the cops she's reconciling with me. That's the suitcase. Shut up, Clay. You're the jealous boyfriend. It was a great idea, Bridge, but I guess Mikey wasn't up to it. What do you say? Is it game, set, match? <laughs> Who has the key? I do. Oh, fuck. Funny thing, Bridge. I could have put this money someplace where you wouldn't have gotten it. Mm -hmm. I might have taken you back. You're a very funny lady. You know the role-playing thing? Baby, you make one hell of a horny nun. <laughs> what do you say, Bridget? Do you want to stay married? <laughs> Wendy! What are you doing? Oh, my God. Now we have a future. You're not human. Better for us, Mike. But he wasn't sure. Fuck me, Mike. What? It's a role play. You're the intruder. I kill my husband, and you rape me. You're not gonna kill me. You're not gonna kill me, Bridget. You're gonna kill me if I don't do what you say, right, Mike? Get off of me. Get off of me! You're lucky I don't kill you. You're lucky! Don't rape me, Mike. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Trish wasn't really coming to best. You shouldn't have told me you never slept with a man before. There must have been some wild night. You getting married so fast, he couldn't believe you. Stop! How to keep the goods hidden for a whole two days? What did he do, tell you the little wobbly thing in the back of your throat was a clitoris? Stop it. You married a man, you farm faggot. Shut your mouth! I'm Trish. Rape me! Shut your mouth! Rape me! You want to be raped? Is that what you want? You want to fucking be raped? You want to play games? Bridget, what are you doing? Games. Come on! This is 911. Hammer! Uh, <laughs> Is this what you want? I'm gonna rape you. You wanna be raped? I'm gonna fucking rape you, bitch! Miss, miss, I'm tracing your call right now. Don't rape me! You like it? So you wanna be raped? I killed my husband! You're goddamn right! Right here. You're goddamn right! You, you killed my husband! Goddamn right! 
goddamn right I did. You're goddamn right I did. Yeah, all right, miss. Miss, I have located you, and I have a car on the way. Fuck you! Fuck! Fucking bitch! Fuck you! That's what you want! That's what you want! Do you like it? Hi, Mike. What'd you find out? Lance Collier exists. In fact, he continues to exist. He's the guy you described, but he isn't dead. Right. So she stole her husband's money, just like he told me. But the husband never filed a complaint. Look at the DA's case, Mike. You go into a man's apartment with a gun and a knife. That's intent to kill, even if you hadn't confessed it. The wife is there, your girlfriend. That's motive. There's a rape on police tape, along with a number of murderous threats. All of which goes to Look, establish a damn keys. type case. She gave me the keys to the apartment. She gave them to me. There were copies of the original she possessed. The jury figures you could have had those made up at any time. But the... Look, there's not a trace of anyone's fingerprints on those keys but yours. The mace was hers. I believe you, Mike. But a jury's going to be looking for electrical outlets. If we had one of hard evidence to support your version of her maneuverings, that would be enough to raise reasonable doubt. A, a note she wrote. The plane ticket to Miami. Phone calls. She, she made phone calls from my office. Your office. And you made all but one of those calls. She probably faked that one. Believe me, you don't want a jury to hear about that night. Think! Might be one thing.